Hey guys, so today I'm gonna install two more hooks like this. Uh, one install already. Today I'm gonna install two more. I wanna install one over here somewhere. I think there's a wood over here somewhere. So I'm gonna try to use a hole over here somewhere. Make a little marking. So I'm gonna balance it out with the existing one. I try to. So keep it level if possible. Oh, that's very far. Wow, that's not good. Why should we keep it never open like this? Oh, huh. okay, so these products are a little bit different. Okay, I see. Yeah, these are different pilots. Oh, no, no. That's gonna be a bust. Let's try the bottom. Let's see the bottom. So the problem with this, the problem with that taking a while to never up or trying to never up is because these are actually the hooks, the new one I just got and the existing one that's installed, they are a little bit different. Just a little bit difference that makes the uh, nothing thing up. It, a little bit harder. Alright. So that's not up. Let's try to uh, install a. Let's try to install the first screw to uh, hold them in. Okay, so the first screw will be wooden stuff. So I just need a driver bit. Let's see. So, wood screws will be square. Robertson, whatever you want to call. Alright, so let's try to draw it through. Hopefully it catches wood. Uh, first hole. Feels nice wood. 
Yeah, feels nice, right? So I'm gonna loosen it a little bit. But that wood didn't feel very strong though. Hopefully it is wood. Alright, so on to the next hole. Okay, so the next two holes I'm gonna use tugger bolts. And so for this, for the tugger bolts, I need to drill the, uh, the holes. So what I'm gonna use is my impact driver with my drill adapter. So just put that onto my impact driver. That way I didn't have to bring my drill separately. So I might drop it. All right, so now I got a drill on my impact driver. Two in one, much neither. Only one, two, one and a half tool to bring instead of two separate tools. All right, let's drill that second hole. Okay, it's dry well, it's easy to get it started. Just push in, give it another indent, and start drilling. Okay, because I know for sure there's nave behind the wall because this is an old house and I know there is nave so there is nave behind that too I really need to enlarge the hole a little bit so the side of the top could go through otherwise I will have a problem with that this tiny little piece on the side not going through properly So that's a notch a little bit. Before I continue on, I'm gonna drill the next hole also. Alright, so that's two of them. unscrew this but I forgot something okay so I forgot that all these uh, these are uh, hangers they come with these uh, little cups so I need to install the cups before the screws goes on so I just have to release my adapter drill adapter and my impact driver is ready for use all right so I get my driver bit Snap it in, take off the screw. Okay, so the hanger, the screw goes through this little cup, go through the cup, and go through the hole, pre drill hole on the uh, on the wall hanger. Okay, where's my screw driver? Oh, impact driver. Hi, right, and drive it back in. Okay, I don't need to really tighten it so much yet because I need to put in the uh, tucker bolts in those two holes. All right, so let's get the tackle bolts. <clears throat> Same story here. Oh, actually, you know what? With the tackle bolts, uh, do we need that first? My mistake. Yeah, you can tell I don't use these all the time. All right, let's release it. We need it enough. The bolt for the tugger bolt into the cup ring. 
into the ring through the preacher hole on the uh, on the wall hanger and insert the toggle thread the toggle on and then do the next one bolt ring for the cup through the preacher hole through the toggle okay okay so now I'm gonna have to push it through the hole in the wall Hopefully you'll push it nicely. Hopefully you will push right through the knife with the enough opening on the knife. The left one did it. Now the right one. Ah no. Don't tell me the right one has a little mistake. Not going through on the right one. Alright, so the right one needs a little bit of fixing. And that was my mistake with the tackle bolts. You have to make sure you have enough clearance. Yeah, that one didn't have enough clearance. Did have enough clearance on the inside. Alright, so let's try again. Hopefully that's going to be enough. Yeah, it is. That's good. Alright, so time to tighten them. Alright, so for the toggle bolts, push them all the way in so the back opens up. Now I'm gonna put on my driver bit. And you want to have something to pull them back. So the uh, there's pressure on the bolt itself, the toggle, and you could drive it. If you don't put anything on the back, you will keep spinning, keep spinning, and it won't do anything. So you have to put something to pull it back, to put pressure against that toggle. And you could drive it. Once it's almost at the end, you can take out whatever tools that you are using. I'm using the uh, a side cutter, which is very good because it has a little angle, so it gives you tiny little grip. It's almost like perfect for this kind of job. to tighten this one too. Nice and tight. I'm gonna tighten that last one too. Okay, change up my bit. Uh, tighten that. Nice. Okay. So that's the assisting one here. And this is a new one I just put on. Now they might look exactly the same, but they're not. I 
from here I could see actually the thickness of the back plate. They look just tiny, there's a just tiny little bit of a thickness difference because they're from different seller. Probably most likely I'm pretty sure they are by a different manufacturer also. They might look the same but they are not the same. Alright, time to put a cap on these. Okay, so they come with snap-on cups. That's our finished product for that one. Okay, so the next hook I want to insert here somewhere. Let's see if we can get a balance area. I'm sure there's a there's a wood here in the area, but it's way too far to the side, so I can't use this area. It's right beside the. Uh, it's too far to the side, so I need. To, I want to put it somewhere in the center, so it means there's like uh, no wooden stud for me anywhere here. So maybe here at the end, but my hanger's not going to go all the way to the end. It's going to be somewhere in the center. Well, what that means is that uh, everything I have here will be empty wood, empty space. So I'm going to use tug -a bolt for all of them. All three holes. So let's see. Let's center it here somewhere. Try to get a level installation. So I think that's pretty good. Okay, so there's my markings. Okay, okay I'm gonna use tackle bolts for all three of them. I need to drill a hole for all three of them of three of them at the same time. So my driver, again, my impact driver, release it. My drill bit adapter with my drill bit. Put it in, there you go, my drill. Yeah, totally dry. Not even this, just dry wall only. So that's fine. Okay, no nails, the tackle ball will go right through. If there's nails, I have to enlarge the whole tiny little bit on the sides so the top on the toggle could go through. Yeah, nothing else. Zero. There's like zero support. Last hole. Oh, this one has something. Hmm. This one could be an actual stud. No. I'm sure that's not a stud. Must be a knife. Okay. I'm gonna drill right through. be damned. That is a stud. It's not a knife. Wow. Okay. Wow. 
that's not a good thing to know. Yes, I just drew out the whole stud. All right, so that's the bust. Means that's that's not usable anymore. Since I drew it out. Okay. Well, that's not a good thing. Can't believe it. Sounds like a uh, knife. Okay, because that hose is useless now, means I only got two anchors. So what I'm gonna try to do right now, what, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna move the hose over for all three of them. So there's a stud there. There could be a some more. It could be like double studded or whatever or start that set too far back there's a chance there's another start over there so I'm going to draw a hole over there see if it catches all right so I'm going to mark other holes to move it over So this time I'm gonna draw this hole first. Just do the drywall, and then I'm gonna see if I could find the uh, stud. Actually, you know what? I will just drive the screw right through. If there's a stud, it's good. There's nothing. Destroy one. Ah, let's try this hole. Let's try over here. Okay, good. It's done. All right. All right, so since I confirmed the stud location, I will use that hole as the template. I draw up the, locate the other two holes I need to drill out for the anchor. Now I didn't, I didn't expect a stud over there, so no. Yeah, that was a total mess up. Did not expect it because the knock can tell me there's nothing there. But you know what? Sometimes the wood just set too far back. Can't feel it. I know for the uh, all the other ones that I did, there's like nath. So you know, even if you drill, drive your screw on it, it will just split. So that's the other two empty holes. Take up my adapter. Okay. So screw through this ring. Through the hanger and goes in to the wall. Bolt through the wing.
through the uh, hanger into the toggle thread onto the toggle if I could get it threaded So I'll get the other one. Bolt, ring, hanger, taco. Thread it on. this toggle just real nice I cannot use this uh, toggle bolt this thing's bent see there's the curve I don't want to use it right, so that goes straight into the garbage uh, go up one that's not bent Uh, I don't want to be in the middle of tightening and go poop, it's stuck, but it's bent. Alright, so let's pop the toggle back in. Toggle in, the, nef the center toggle is in, so this will be the right toggle. You can use a hammer, you can use uh, something else to push it through. Sometimes uh, because it's on a dry wall, it's not that hard to push it with your hand if you want. So let's just tighten this. Yeah, that is dry wall. Ah, uh, not dry wall. That is stuck. Wooden stuck. Where's my other? So time to tighten these tugger bolts. Same thing as before, pull it out a little bit, all the way, put pressure to the back, and start driving it. This one. getting stripped. Alright. Let's tighten the wood one more time. Alright, so that's that. Okay, so let's put the cups on. Yeah, 
using a uh, tool is stronger than using your finger. Our finished product. That's the bottle hangers, top hangers. So now the space for a lot of hanging. Of course, there's all the other bags around here somewhere. Alrighty. Hey, at least I could open the door now. I might actually remove the door. Ah. Alright, guys. Job made easier with this drill adapter. Don't have to put in a drill. My impact driver is my drill. Oh, can you see? Ah, there we go. Impact driver. Drill adapter. A drill. All right, guys. That's it for today. Time to sleep.